I have one cups piling in here at the top of the hour. That is awesome. Good to have everybody back. Day two in our challenge. Day two in our challenge. We're actually going to figure out how to turn an electronic brochure into a traffic and client generating machine. So uh, hang tight and you will figure out before the next 46 minutes is over exactly how you can make more money. I'll give people um, a minute or so to join us though, before we actually get started. Um, I got a lot of great feedback from yesterday. That is awesome. People posted a lot of questions in the group and it was great to be able to answer them. One of the things I want to share with you, and this takes some pressure off of it, marketing, you can get a whole degree, a whole bachelor's degree, a whole master's degree, a whole doctorate degree in marketing. Um, th there are people on Madison Avenue in New York who've been doing it for 30 or 40 years who are still learning new strategies and ideas. Uh, I've been to three marketing conferences in the last year. In fact, I'm going with Jason this week to another conference in uh, Phoenix um, next Wednesday. Uh, and every time we go, we learn something new. So as you begin to consider the idea of how do you market a practice, how do you build a practice, recognize a couple of things. One, be gentle on yourself. It's not possible to learn everything in one day. Two, learning something and implementing one idea is better than doing nothing. Three, as you implement an idea or two, you will learn, you'll refine it, you will create success with that. And you will begin to implement additional ideas, but it is perfectly okay for marketing to become a process. Uh, I am never done marketing. Uh, it is an ongoing process. And while I may be more advanced than many of the people in this room, the reality is just like you, I started by doing therapy, seeing clients and wanting to help people. In 1991, I opened my very first private practice. It was on Research Boulevard in Austin, Texas. And in 1991, I did not have very much money at all. Uh, I had a new baby coming on the way. Uh, my son's birthday is July 5th, 1991. So uh, I guess 31 years ago. And uh, I, I, I was a new therapist. Uh, I had student loans. Uh, I didn't have a lot of money. Um, and I spent all the money I had to lease an office, pay a security deposit. Um, uh, back then, you had to get telephones for the office. Remember when you had to have telephones, right? So I had to pay Southwestern Bell to come install telephone lines and a fax line. Remember fax lines. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want to make more money, save money. Cancel your fax line. This is dumb. You're just go to efax.com, pay 10 bucks a month and have a fax machine if you're still trading medical records on a fax machine, which just seems weird to me anyway. You can just scan it and email it, but hey, what the heck. Um, uh, but uh, I, I spent all my money to open up this office. I had to buy furniture. Uh, I don't think Craigslist had been invented yet, so I had to go to the secondhand furniture stores and try to buy some nice furniture that I could actually afford. To, to and I had to go to deck the walls. Remember deck the walls at the mall so I could buy some decorations for the office walls. And I had to go to the, the, the greenhouse and buy some plants so I could have a plant or two in my office. So it'd be a, a, an inviting place for people to come. I think I bought a corn plant. You guys know what a corn plant is? It just, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the great thing about a corn plant in an office is it doesn't actually need direct sunlight. So, uh, so it thrives in an office, but I built this office and um, I sat there by the phone Oh, I paid the printer to print business cards and brochures, all that kind of stuff. And uh, nobody came. Build it and they will come is for Hollywood, not for real life. And I remember I was scared. I, I had spent all my money. I expected that Richard, the therapist, would be a popular thing. And uh, it wasn't a popular thing. I had to learn how to do marketing. And so in that position, I did what... Um, I even bought a yellow page ad back then. You had to buy a yellow page ad. And you had to commit to a monthly payment for 12 months. Uh, I, I mean, the monthly payment was probably you know more than I earned in, in, in a year. I mean, it was, it was pretty high. Uh, so I, I did all this stuff and, uh, and, and nobody, the phone wasn't ringing. So I did then what I still do today, by the way, the internet is a great way to attract new clients. But the internet is just one more way of telling people what it is that you do. 
And so in that position, I went to the buildings next to my building and I knocked on their door and I said, hi, I'm Richard. I'm a therapist. My office is right next door. I was just wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what you guys do. And I went into like an automotive you know, parts, wholesale store. I went into, you know, I don't know, a, a, an Allstate agent's shop. I went into, you know, whoever was in that little quadrant of offices. And, and I said, I, I'm Richard, I'm, I'm your new neighbor. What is it that you do? And I asked them, notice something. I asked about them. I didn't tell them what I did. I didn't say, hey, I'm your new neighbor. I'm a therapist. Let me drop off some brochures. I said, hey, I'm Richard. Let me tell, let me ask you about your business because people love to talk about themselves. And after a while, after they told me about their business, they, they would say things like, I'm really excited. You know, we're the only distributor worldwide for the flux capacitor. If anybody needs to go to the future, we're the wholesaler that every everybody has to go to in order to be able to get the part. And they were excited about what they did. And eventually they'd say, oh, by the way, since you're the neighbor, what do you do? And they'd say, oh, I'm Richard, the therapist. I work with teens and adolescents. And uh, and I can give them a, 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 so I went all around. I used my, I think one of the most effective marketing strategies is this right here, the feet. Uh, and so then I went to the buildings next to the buildings in my complex. And I said, hey, I'm your neighbor. I just moved in. Let me tell you what I do. Uh, and I started showing up at, at all kinds of meetings, you know, uh, uh, Kiowanis and Rotary Club and uh, the Women's um, Business Breakfast and the Chamber of Commerce. And and, and I, I went through a lot of really boring meetings like, you know, the Austin Water Conservation Committee, it was something I was not interested in at all. Um, I became interested because that became a fascinating subject to learn that Austin is built on an aquifer and there aren't, isn't enough water for all the people. Uh, I didn't know that before I showed up, but then I learned that sort of stuff. It became fascinating to me, but more importantly, everyone said, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm Richard, the therapist. And pretty soon I was attracting clients. So we have a tool available to us now that I didn't have in 1991, and that is the internet. And it is one more tool, but never overlooked the value of traditional marketing and the power of the feet. Uh, we have to tell people what it is that we do. Now, I'm not, I don't have time in this three-day challenge to go into all of these details. I'm going to focus today on websites. But many people build a website and they believe something that isn't true. I built a beautiful website. Now people will come to my website. In fact, I even paid somebody to SEO my website, search engine optimization. And because of that, I'm going to get all kinds of calls. Let me assure you, that is not true. It is our responsibility to get people to go to our website. How do we do that? By telling people about what it is that we do. We can do that with the shoe, the old fashioned way by you know, participating in all those community activities, et cetera. We can also do that within communities that we create and communities that we participate in, in, um, uh, in social media. And uh, 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 social media for therapists could simply become a whole other five-day challenge class or 10-day challenge class if we wanted it to be. Uh, but I have millions of people who have viewed my social media. Uh, I have millions of people who have viewed my YouTube videos. In fact, I have one YouTube video, uh, a self-hypnosis video. It just guides people through a basic process of self-hypnosis. 1.2 million views on that one video alone. I have a stop smoking video, how to stop smoking. In fact, it, it wasn't even a how to stop smoking video. What it actually was, was I wanted to record doing a session with somebody to help them stop smoking. And so I posted it up on YouTube. Uh, to the, uh, currently, it has about a half a million views. And I have booked so many sessions over the years because of that YouTube video. People reach out to me and say, hey, can you hypnotize me? Can you help me quit smoking? That video uh, that now has half 500,000 viewers um, has made me tens of thousands of dollars uh, many times over uh, in booked client sessions. So in social media, what we want to do is we want to be able to create content and we want to be able to create communities. Most of you are members of the communities that I have created on Facebook. I have a community for LPCs, LMFTs, social workers. I think there's about 3,000 people in that community. 
Uh, I have a community that I've created for uh, professional hypnotists. I think there's about 7,000 people in that community. I have a community that I've created for mindfulness meditation. I have thousands of people in that community. In addition to the communities that I've created, uh, I have also um, uh, participated in a number of communities on a wide variety of different social media platforms. And by contributing something of value and becoming an important person in that community, the result is people reach out to me all the time and say, hey, how can I schedule a session with you? So social media is one of the ways that we get people to our website. Social media, again, isn't something we have time in a three-day challenge to look at. But when we, when we, when we lead by giving, it always comes back to us. And it comes back to us in the form of views on our website. I've jokingly said, um, I've jokingly said in a number of situations that if you actually want the solutions that I have, I've probably posted them for free on the internet somewhere, whether it's on my blog, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in the file section, whether it's somewhere else. Uh, and, and, and I've always led with my best stuff. One of my favorite techniques, by the way, every therapist and every hypnotist needs to know this. How many of you have clients who have panic or anxiety and, and they work themselves up into a tizzy and they find that they're uncomfortable and they can't go on any further? This is a great strategy. If somebody's afraid on an airplane, if somebody's afraid in traffic, somebody has a, has a panic attack, I call it the three, two, one strategy, three breaths. I do this with me now. Just taking three breaths, count them. One, two, three. By the way, you don't have to breathe any special way. This isn't yoga. Just count three breaths. Take your two hands, put your two hands like this. By the way, if you want to get advanced and do some EMDR, bilateral stimulation, you could do this. If you're interested in havening, you can pet yourself. That's fine too. Uh, you can just leave your hands like this, giving yourself a little hug. Feels pretty good to hug yourself, doesn't it? Notice the oxytocin being released simply by doing that. The leftover right crossover, a little bit of EMDR going on here, just saved you $3,000 on training. Is that awesome or what? And, uh, and now close your eyes down and spend one minute just being fully present, mindful. Choosing to let go of any regrets from the past or fears of the future and being present in this moment in this class where you have the opportunity to learn something new, new ways of being able to be discovered, new ways of representing your services and new ways of, of attracting new clients. And it feels pretty good to be in this place. We can let go of perfection, regrets of the past. I should have learned more about business. Fully embrace this moment where you're doing exactly what it is you need to be doing in order to create success. And now, look at this. Like a good meditation teacher, I happen to have a little bell with me. Open the eyes. Notice how you feel. By the way, the three, two, one technique for emotional reset, whatever I, whatever I call it. I've been teaching that to people for years. It's a great technique. Every one of your anxious clients need to learn that strategy for self-soothing and mindfulness. Go teach it to them in your sessions today. They're going to think you're awesome. Uh, I lead by giving this kind of stuff away to people. And the result has been I've created a community and people are interested in what Richard has to say. And the result has been... Um, I have more clients than I could possibly handle or see. Um, I, I'm not at a point where I am actively advertising my services anymore. And, and the reason why is because I, I would be seeing 80 hours a week of clients. And I, I can't do that. Um, I'm a firm believer in only seeing the number of clients in a week that I'm comfortable seeing so that I have good work-life balance so that I can spend time with my family. And I'm only interested in seeing clients who I enjoy working with. And I, I'm only uh, interested in seeing clients at this point in my career, something we'll talk about tomorrow, that are self-paying and pay me my full fee. Uh, those of you who are licensed mental health professionals in the room recognize I have not filled out an insurance form since 2006. Uh, and uh, the result has been um, that instead of doing an hour of therapy and spending an hour doing paperwork to collect half my fee because the contract sucks, my clients pay the full fee before the session begins with a smile on their face because they know they're going to get the promises that I'm making to them. And I will share that with you in tomorrow's challenge. So today, 
let's take a look at what I would call a website audit. These are some things that are super, super important. Um, and uh, I, I emailed you today. How many of you got the email that I sent you today that had the PDF download? I hope you downloaded that. That's fine. If you didn't check your spam folder, because I promise you it's in the spam folder in your email. This is also the last page of the workbook that I gave you yesterday. So it is in multiple places. And as a matter of fact, to make sure that you actually get everything, look at this in our little chat box. I'm actually going to post this PDF right now. So you could open it up in another window if you wanted to. Uh, this is a checklist that I've created that uh, has um, that has some um, some real solutions uh, to you. People often say to me, hey, I'm having a website built for me or I'm you know, wanting to build a website. Um, uh, uh, what, should I, what, should, what should be on this website? And so I've created a, uh, a checklist for you. Let me, let me share this a different way so you can see it easily. I wanna make sure you can see this easily. Um, make it a little bit bigger here on my screen so it's bigger on your screen. And uh, there are certain elements of a website that you're going to need. From a technical perspective, these are all things that you need. And let me, it seems that people often brag about how cheap their hosting is. Let me assure you that hosting is probably one of the most important things that you can pay for. Premium man WordPress managed uh, uh, websites load faster, work better, get hacked less. Um, uh, just uh, 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 there's daily backups, all kinds of things. So, uh, by the way, I am also going to tell you how you can get all of these things. So that's coming up here in a minute. Uh, I'll, I'm going to tell you exactly what I use. Um, most of us use a, a free theme that WordPress gives us rather than one designed for marketing. Uh, I'm a firm believer in using professional themes to offer a professional service. One of the other things that we need from a technical perspective is an email autoresponder. You guys have all got an email from me. Most of that email has been automated. And uh, uh, I have to collect email addresses in order to create uh, automated email sequences. Um, and, and when people visit my website, how many of you have a website right now? And you have no idea if anybody's actually visiting it. You don't really know if anybody's seeing your website. Right? And you certainly don't have a way of interacting with those people. By using an email autoresponder, we have the ability to collect email addresses. We have the ability to interact with those people. A video in or a website in 2022 is a video delivery device. Uh, in the era of Netflix or YouTube, um, people expect video on a website. Every one of my web pages has video on it. And the reason why is because if a picture tells a thousand words, a video tells 10,000 words. If on your website, think about the website that you have right now. If the website you have right now has a bunch of stock images that came from, you know, stock image places, Google images, that kind of thing, um, it doesn't even represent you. Uh, your picture should be on the website. Um, if you don't like your picture, we all have a high dollar camera right here in our phone. We can take a great picture now. We couldn't do that five years ago or 10 years ago. You can even make an excellent video with your phone. Every video in this course was made with a cell phone. In this closet over here, I actually have $30,000 worth of professional cameras. And, uh, and uh, I don't use any of them anymore. I just use a couple of cell phones to do all my videos. Uh, we want to build a website in WordPress. We want it mobile optimized. We don't want to use a lot of plugins. Every website must be secured now with SSL, a secure uh, uh, socket level layer. Uh, and we want daily backups of our website. Um, so that's kind of from a technical perspective. Check the things that you have. From a graphics perspective, we want a professionally designed logo. This isn't particularly expensive. My graphics designer actually specializes in logo creation for like a hundred bucks. He'll, 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 he'll come up with a logo that looks like this or a logo that looks like this. That's a lot better than you're ever going to create. Um, we want consistent imagery, banners and graphics. We don't want stock images. We want images that are created with you, your building, your office, your geographic location, all part of it. Search engine optimization is important. 
Uh, does each one of your pages have at least 300 words? Is there a key word that people are actually searching for identified? Here's the crazy thing. People who are therapists hire somebody who's not a therapist to design a website for them and say, oh yeah, make sure it's keyworded. But, but they don't know what clients are searching for. So you have to spend some time identifying what terms are people using in order to find your services. That's super important as well. Um, when people tell me their website's been search engine optimized, the very first thing I do is go to their website and click on their images to see if the images have, uh, have key names. Uh, keywords uh, in them. Is there a blog? A blog tells Google, this website is dynamic. It's alive. New content is coming. And in search engine optimization, this goes to the technical aspects. It better load fast. If it doesn't, Google's going to drop its rank big time, no matter how good the website is. Um, uh, your messaging on your website. Now, I'll go into detail on more of this stuff. But does your messaging speak to the avatar? Or like the website that I popped up yesterday, does it tell about you? Nobody cares about you. They care about their problem. Here's, a, here's something in your messaging that's really important. Is there a clear message? I mean, a clear promise. So I'm building a website right now for a uh, medical practitioner uh, in the... Uh, Pacific Northwest. And the promise I make at the very top of the website is this, wake up tomorrow feeling good. Think about it. These are medical clients. They have not been waking up feeling good. Their dream is to one day wake up and actually feel good. This is the promise. Is there a call to action? If you have a web page and you haven't told them to do something, they will always do nothing. So you have wasted your web page. You need to tell them, give me your email so I can give you something of value, a video, an MP3, a PDF, an ebook, something, even a free, uh, a, a, a free consult, whatever it is. By the way, if you're resistant to offering free consults, as I was for years, I realized that I was doing free consults anyway. People called me and asked me questions. That's a free consult. So you may as well make it look special and, and give them a free consult. Um, uh, does your website have video? Does the video have a call to action and tell them what to do? Do the words on the page speaks to the pain point of the avatar? If your website copy does not do this, your website is not converting clients. By the way, I'm going to show you an example of a good website piece by piece and how these pieces come together. Does your website say, hey, book a session with me. I'm a therapist. It's 150 bucks for a session. Or have you productified your services? And I'm going to show you an example of that. A clear option to purchase a product. Um, people want to make a decision now. We live in a very impatient world. So I'm a, a resource faculty member at Baki Graduate University. I was just at a meeting with them this week, a marketing meeting. And one of the things I said was, look, right now for a student to enroll, they have to call. They probably have to leave a message for the admissions person. They have to then get an email with, you know, directions for the application, blah, 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 blah. I said, this is 2022. I said, people should be able to fill out an application online. And uh, when they fill out that application online, uh, they should attest that the information is accurate. They should immediately be taken to their very first class right then and there. It should collect their payment. It should notify the admissions people. And if we find out, of course, in the next 42 or 72 hours or 96 hours, they don't have the prerequisites, et cetera, we can go back because this is all contingent on the information they're providing being accurate. Uh, but, but now what we've done is we've removed the barrier. They no longer have to search for an, uh, uh, an online degree program uh, because they've not only been able to find the answers to their questions, but they've actually been able to enroll at least in something today. And that's a powerful transition or change. Your client should be able to book a session and be taken to what I call an onboarding page, where they're given a series of resources that you've provided to prepare them for your first session. Yes, this could be forms, but it also needs to be, uh, uh, it can be video. Uh, my anxiety clients who come to see me are people who get a series of uh, 
strategies before our first session that I video recorded for him as psychoeducation, if you want to call it that, hypnotic education. Uh, they're really excited because not only did they book the session, but they already are getting solutions, even though our meeting isn't until next Monday at one o'clock. This is really important to client retention, to decreasing cancellations. Every one of those things uh, increases the likelihood of you making more money and doing it ethically. If you don't collect online payments, that's a requirement in 2022. Custom thank you pages are onboarding pages. Um, when you signed up for this class, even though the class was June 8th, 9th, and 10th, you got a thank you page, that's what we call it, uh, that gave you a bunch of resources before we even started the class. And every one of those, uh, whether it was the PDFs or whether it was the videos had value and every therapist should be doing that exact same thing in the work that we do. And I'm going to show you an example of that here in a moment. Uh, copywriting is along the lines of messaging, but conversational copy, communicating value. The most important words that you can use in your copy, copywriting are these two words. So that, um, Anytime we have a, a feature, it needs to have a benefit. So this is a big red quick trip cup. It's made out of plastic, but it's tapered and it fits in your car, right? The advertising copy should say it's tapered so that you don't spill iced tea all over your car, right? A feature is useless unless we tie it to a benefit. So... <laughs> I provide six sessions for my clients who have a fear of flying so that by the end of the six session, they can visit their grandkids. If I just tell them six sessions, nobody cares. So, so we need, we need language that speaks directly to the client and ignites that curiosity. Uh, our website should have influence on it. Now, testimonials are something I've not been crazy about because as a licensed mental health professional, um, there are definitely some ethical issues in using client testimonials. Uh, I generally don't use client testimonials on my therapy-related pages, but I do use testimonials elsewhere. Um, uh, um, uh, membership logos are important. Are you a member of the... National Association of Social Workers? Are you a member of the uh, of the uh, International Certification Board of Coaches and Hypnotists? Are you a member of the AAMFT? Uh, all of these things uh, are part of influence. The principle of reciprocity that Robert Caldini taught about was, look, if you give something, you get something. Uh, this is a powerful psychological principle. So people who visit my websites get an opportunity to get something of value. And of course, social proof. When people go to my website and they link to my social media and they find they're now in a group with hundreds or thousands of other people, they say, wow, Richard must be a pro at what he does. Let me book a session with him. Um, I have a lot of people who only want to book a session with me because social proof, my social proof is high. And so they think I'm a better therapist than the person down the street. And that is absolutely not necessarily true. The design on our webpage. Look, does your website have some video, some movement, some life to it? This is really important. Uh, I'm going to go over here to, uh, to bobmartel.com. Uh, Bob Martel's a great guy. Bob, are you here? Bob, maybe you're here. Maybe you're not here. Yes, I am. There you go. All right. So you've actually changed this up a little bit. I think this had movement to it before, yeah. but Bob's got a great website. He's been working out. Oh, here we go. Here's some movement right here. You, you moved the balloon, right? So Bob happens to be a balloonist, uh, which is a great thing to share with people. And so we have just some movement on the website. That's important um, because we want our website to appear alive for people who visit us. We want clear navigation. We shouldn't have to have people looking for things. And then from a functional perspective, uh, can people pay easily? Can forms be completed online? Do the links work? People go to the bottom of a website looking for a footer. Uh, they want to be able to get that information that they need. And most people have been trained. It's either on a contact page or it's in a footer. Uh, and, and so our website needs to be consistent with other people's websites. So I created this form for you so you can kind of audit your own website and see what needs to change. So if things need to change, 
rather than being frustrated and saying, oh my gosh, my website's no good. Things need to change. You have three paths. Are you ready for the three paths? Path number one, whoever built your website, your webmaster, have them make revisions based on what you're now learning. Path number two, learn how to do it yourself and make those revisions yourself. And by the way, I'm going to give you some ideas for doing that. Number three, it may be time to start over. Some of you need to start over. And you can start over then in one of two ways. You can start over by doing it yourself, which, by the way, is a huge learning curve, but it can be done. Bob, you're here. Bob Martell. Uh, Bob Martell's been doing great overcoming the learning curve and doing a lot of things on his own. It's been great to see. It would, pr it would probably be done if I hired Joey, but he's not available. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, the second thing you can do is you can hire somebody. Can you hire me and Joey? Yes, you can. Uh, we don't build a lot of web pages and we are expensive, but we're really good at what we do. Um, you can also go to upwork.com. You can go to fiverr.com and you can tell potential web builders and web designers what tools you should use. And I'm going to give you a resource in a minute so you'll know exactly what tools you should use if you decide to either build a web page on your own or you decide to have somebody on Upwork or Fiverr or somebody else build a web page for you. So those are kind of the three paths that you can go through. But I wanted to go through and actually do a website audit. Um, uh, and... Uh, yeah, look at that. Keith Ivey gave me a testimonial there in the chat box. Thanks, Keith. Um, <clears throat> this is a website that I built for Keith Ivey this week or last week. Um, and uh, you can see all the elements that we've talked about here. And I, I just wanted to share with you because this is, I think, a particularly good website. And you will learn, um, even though your website might look entirely different, different colors, different pictures, different message, uh, the ideas here that are on this checklist or on this website. It speaks to the person. It says what we do and why we do it. And it gives them a promise. It has video. Now he's actually making some video of himself, but until he's done doing that, um, well, until he's done doing that, uh, we actually have a placeholder video that by the way, is something of value. It's a complete full hypnosis session. He suggests some of the ways that he can help people. And he gives them, I think, a really nice, gentle reminder. You're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. You just need an operating system upgrade. That's just really a beautiful, gentle metaphor to share with people. Again, his picture is here because people want to know who this guy is, but he's talking to the client about their needs. Right now, you might not feel very powerful rather than language that says, I'm a therapist who helps people become more powerful, right? Um, he, he has some logos associated with organizations he's a member of. And you can begin right now, this very moment, by booking a session with him absolutely free. Now, when you book the session with him, he gets a reminder, the client gets a reminder, they get a text message. And just like you magically appeared on Zoom today, he magically appears on Zoom with them. And of course, he gives something of free, something of value. I can put in my name here, Richard. I can put in my email address, nonyard1 at AOL.com. Don't email me there. I never check my AOL. Let's cl click that and see what, what did Keith give me? Whoa, he gave me a book titled Self-Hypnosis for Beginners. I can simply open this up. And he's given me, what is this, seven pages of ideas that are of value to an anxious person to take control of their life. That's pretty cool. Thanks, Keith, for giving that to me. Now, this website does more than that. I want to share with you a couple other things on here that are really important that you can and you should have on your website. Let's look at Keith's services, okay? Keith offers a variety of services, some different programs. He's conceptualized it in a number of different ways. One is called the Virtual Gastric Band for Weight Loss. Uh, one is on moving from the hurt of betrayal and lost love, depression, anxiety. But here's the thing. If you want to book, here's some testimonials. That's fine. 
I'm not opposed to testimonials. I just use them sparingly. You can all you can you can always book a free consultation to start with. They were going to call us anyway, so we may as well let them book it online. Uh, but when they click on any of these specific services, what Keith has done is he has productified this. He's productified it, right? Uh, this is the virtual gastric band. And he's given them an opportunity for three different plans. Do you want the simple plan for $675? It includes all these things. Look at the language of this. Four online sessions so that... You can kickstart your success from home. Downloadable MP3 hypnosis session so that you can reinforce your success. Scheduled weekly for a full month of support and change. So that is applied, right? Scheduled weekly so that you get a full month of support and change. 675 bucks. That's what Keith charges for his four sessions. So here's a question. Can we take those four sessions and add value to them so that people will pay more? Can we make a $675 plan into a $975 plan? How many of you would like to do four sessions for $675? Raise your hand. If you would like to have a client book today, full pay, self pay, four clients, 675 bucks. How many of you would like that session? Would you like that same client to book those four sessions and give you $975? Here's exactly how you do it. This is how therapists can make more money. Offer the resource plan. It's everything in the simple plan. But it also includes a 122-page workbook that will be mailed to you so that you can reinforce your success between sessions. By the way, Snail mail is a really nice touch. Keith's going to put in the mail a book and send it to him. It's a workbook. It's 122 pages. Sheila Granger created it. It is an awesome workbook for virtual gastric band hypnosis. Now, what's Keith's cost on this? Keith's cost is $15 to buy the book on Amazon. He can actually just order it from Amazon and send it right to the client. He doesn't even have to send it to himself and then have it ship from his house, right? But let's say he does ship it from his house, five bucks for postage. That's costing him 20 bucks. He also provides, if you do this, six downloadable MP3 hypnosis sessions to master total wellness in every area of life. That's pretty cool. And three eBooks that you can download today that'll support your emotional and physical goals for the long term. Does that sound appealing to anybody? If you were potentially looking for key services, would you pick this one or this one? The vast majority of people are going to pick this one. The additional expense to Keith was $20, leaving a total extra profit of $280. And this is important. He provided real value to people. Now, your question is this probably. But I didn't write a 122-page workbook, neither did Keith. He's providing Sheila Granger's workbook. For almost 30 years, I have given almost every client who's walked into my office a workbook titled Get Out of Your Mind and Into Your Life by Stephen Hayes. Uh, in fact, Stephen Hayes can probably retire based on the number of books that I've purchased to give to my clients. Okay. Now, I obviously write my own books, so I often give clients my own books, but we don't have to use our own book. Six downloadable MP3 sessions. When I talked to Keith, I said, Keith, do you have any hypnosis downloads you've created? And the answer to that was no. So guess what we did? We purchased what are called private label rights resources. And I'll show you where those resources are. And three eBooks. So if you purchase this program, what do you get? You get, this is important, you book online, you pay online, Keith gets the money, uh, they get uh, resources, and uh, and they get taken to a specific page. Um, and the page that they get taken to, I got to find it, I got to make sure I'm going to the right page. Uh, this is for a single session, right? That's the single session. Where is the... Uh, and I remember I hit it on the I hit it on the page, Keith, for this very reason. If they pay the nine hundred and seventy five dollars, 
Oh, took him off the home page. All right. So I'm trying to find this page. It's all automated, so it's hard for me to find the page. But I want to show you what they get. Uh, view here. Bam. These are the resources to get you started today. Remember, they haven't even met me yet, but they booked online. So they got an email that confirmed everything and told them about this page so they can find it later. They went to this page and they got a 16-minute hypnosis this session program. that we purchased from a private label rights reseller. There are six other hypnosis sessions. Make your dreams come true. Stay relaxed. Be confident. Total relaxation. Amazing learning and attracting wealth. There are three books that Keith is giving them. This one is titled Breakthrough You. 52 Ways to Dramatically Transform Your Life. This is actually great content filled with ideas. 82, 62 pages. Keith did not write this book. We purchased this book from a private label rights uh, uh, a group. So we can use PLR content if we don't have our own content to create added value so that our upsell becomes something important. And what Keith can do is one of two things. He can leave it like this, or he can now spend his time developing his own resources. There's also platinum plan. X number of people will just buy the most expensive thing. I don't know how many of you do this, but I'm like this. Yesterday, I went to the store to buy a sprinkler for my backyard, and I don't know anything about sprinklers. So I just bought the $39.95 sprinkler because I figured that was the best one. There are a lot of people who are just like that. And so Keith offers a $1,495 option recommended for those who need to lose more than 30 pounds. It's everything in the previous two programs, but it's monthly one-on-one -on -one sessions in addition to the four weekly sessions so that you create long-term success and keep the weight off. It includes additional resources, MP3, uh, 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 et cetera, that meet their specific needs. Let me go ahead and get started here. Bam. They're going to pay online. They're going to book online. They're going to do everything. So by productifying by productifying our services, we actually um, can dramatically increase our income doing the exact same thing. Remember, I started by asking how many of you would be happy with a client who booked four sessions for 675 bucks? Would you be happy if 10 clients did that? And of those 10 clients, three of them did this. And one of them did this. Can you see now you're doing the same work and you're making substantially more money because you've productified it and you've provided real value. And even though these are PLR resources, the reality is these resources are incredibly useful. There's a lot of other strategies we could add to this that we just don't have time to talk about in a three-day challenge. We could also enhance the value by putting them into groups by decreasing the cost and adding groups and doing this in a group format. That would be another idea or creating additional value by adding certain people to a group. All of those are excellent ideas, but we're collecting more money while providing good value for what are essentially largely the same services from our perspective. So a good website does all of this stuff. Um, a good website has a blog uh, and the blogs should provide good content and they should look good. This is a great way to let, uh, I'm sure, trying to show you a good looking web page. I screwed that one up. Um, but what's important, let me look on the inside of this here. We've also used search engine optimization on these pages. And I want to save you a lot of money right now, okay? Uh, promise me this. Promise me this. You will never pay somebody for monthly search engine optimization ever again as long as you live. That is always a scam and always a ripoff. You can use a plugin called... Uh, um, Yoast SEO. I'm going to show you where to get all these resources. Okay. Um, uh, Yoast SEO, and you can just follow the tutorial I'm going to give you, and you can do all of this yourself. But on Keith's website, we've actually 
uh, uh, put Yoast SEO in here. And we're going to be looking for a green light on these pages. Now, not all pages are SEO. For example, the bonus resources, that's a hidden page. So we don't need to SEO that. But this one has a green light. That's his homepage, right? We have a green light on his services page. We have a green light on his gastric band page. And what we do here is if I go to the edit section, I don't want to get lost in the technical aspect of this. But what we've done is we've picked keywords that people are actually searching for. And we've included them. Something else that happens here when we use a tool like Yoast SEO is when he shares this on Facebook, it's going to look good. It's not going to have the wrong picture. It's not going to have the wrong description. It's going to say exactly what it is that he wants to see. That's something everybody in this room has the ability to do themselves without hiring anybody, no matter what WordPress website you're on. And the dominant question in the chat box has been, okay, where do I get this stuff? Let me show you exactly where you can get this stuff. I gotta find the, I gotta find the page. There you go. I have a page called webpagesfortherapist.com. Uh, it actually redirects over here. Okay. And uh, and uh, let me let me put it in the chat box. Yeah, it's there in the chat box. Webpagesfortherapist.com goes to this page. Okay. And uh, and and this page follows my model of what's a good web page. You can see that. And on this web page, I give you something of value for free, which you already got because it's included in this course. 10 things every therapist needs to know about attracting clients online. Um, this is a good looking web page. Got a little bit of movement, got some balloons to make. Richard, we can't see your screen. Oh, yeah. It'd be helpful if I, if I share the screen with you. Uh, but I'm going to show you the best part of this web page that I created. Okay. Here we go. My webpage, webpagesfortherapist.com. It's got a balloons up here, a little bit of movement. It's got video right at the top. You can schedule online, all that cool stuff. But here's what you're looking for. Uh, here, this I, I give people this free guide to uh, attracting new clients online. You already have that. It was part of the challenge. I um, uh, got a testimonial for my website building. Why do I build websites? By the way, some of you know the story, some of you don't. Uh, back in 1999, when I built my first website, there wasn't anybody to build a website for you. I had to learn myself. Um, back in 2015, when I had uh, a type of throat tumor that was killing me, um, I lost my voice for a year. I couldn't speak. Uh, and it was I was supposed to die from it. I didn't, obviously. Uh, but I decided, well, I got two kids in college at the time. I should probably try to make a lot, as much money as I possibly can. So I'll build some websites for other therapists. And I discovered that it became almost a meditation for me. Apart from the therapy work, a little bit of creative outlet. So I've built a lot of beautiful web pages for other people. But here's what I want to show you. At the bottom of this web page, all the way at the bottom, these are the tools that I use. You don't have to hire me to build a web page for you. If you want me to build a web page for you, I will build you an awesome web page. And the cool thing about it is you don't even need to provide me any content because I know who your client is and I know what it is you offer. So I can create it all. I'll create the lead magnets. I'll create everything. All you have to do is pay me. And, and uh, a couple of weeks later, you're going to have a beautiful website. But if you want to do it yourself, AWeber is my opt-in tool. Optimized Press is my theme. WP Engine is the hosting. Wishlist Members, my membership module. PLR.me, this is where I get private label rights content that I can use on my own web pages as well as others. And there are many other things, but here's the cool thing. All of these links are here and follow these links, by the way. So like you could go to PLR.me, but since I'm friends with PLR.me, if you use my link, you'll actually get some, some credits for that. By the way, it is an affiliate link, so you'll also be buying me lunch, but you'll be paying less. You'll get free credits, and I'll go to lunch with my wife. I think they sent me 30 bucks or something like that. But this purple button is called Tutorials. And on this page, I have put a ton of tutorials. When you have an email autoresponder, how do you uh, how do you use it? That's called AWeber lists. Uh, how do you edit a web page? Uh, how do you add members to a membership module? How do you search engine optimize your blogs? How do you use a lead magnet so that people actually get it? And I've also linked to the OP3 tutorials from OP3. 
and a set of complete wish list member tutorials. So on my website at webpagesfortherapist.com, you'll see at the top part an explanation of how I can build an awesome, beautiful web page for you, and you don't have to worry about anything. But you'll also find all the resources that I actually use. And you can get these resources, and you can follow the tutorials here, as well as the tutorials that exist on YouTube and on the websites of all these different companies. And you can learn to build your own beautiful website. I will caution you, there is a learning curve. You have to take the time and the dedication to learn those things to be able to do it. It's not a Wix website or a GoDaddy Tonight website. Those websites, by the way, are unacceptable for professionals. They don't have the tools you need to create a marketing website. Those are all electronic brochures. You want a website that attracts clients and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and all of the resources are there on that page for you. By the way, somebody sent me a private message. How much to have me build a website? Uh, it's a lot. Every website is different. Um, there are, there's no such thing as two websites that are the same. Uh, we started about 1800 bucks and we go up from there. Um, so just, just so you know that, but if you are interested, you can always book a session with me and we can talk about those things. It depends what your needs are, what it is that you want, what you want the website to do for you, because every website we have should not just be an electronic brochure in cyberspace. It should do something for us. When we use the right tools and it does something for us, we can then create a thriving private practice from the resources on the internet. Uh, Danielle asked the average monthly cost for a website. Um, there's certain software that we need a license for, uh, Wishlist member, um, uh, Optimized Press. Uh, we need AWeber. The typical cost for a website ongoing is usually about 50, 40 to $50 a month, depending on what tools a person uses. Those, by the way, are not should not be paid to me or to another website builder. Um, those should be paid to the companies. You want to make sure you own your domain name. You want to make sure you own your hosting. Because what will happen is if you do a monthly plan with some webmaster who puts it all together in a package, they own your domain name. If they get flaky, and trust me, website designers are flaky, um, uh, you, you lose your site. You want ownership of everything. That is absolutely one of the most important things. That's why I'm not a fan of GoDaddy tonight, Wix, and those sorts of things, because to a large extent, you don't have full ownership of those things. Um, yes, buy your own domain name. Always buy a domain name on GoDaddy.com, by the way. GoDaddy wins the domain registration, but decline every upsell, everything GoDaddy tries to sell you when you buy a domain name. Yes, Wayne, you are correct. Website designers are just like used car dealers. Uh, I, I don't recommend Google domains. I recommend buying your domain name at GoDaddy. Here's the deal. I'm an expert. I have made millions of dollars on the internet. I've been doing this since 1999 when my first website was Galstar, HTTP colon slash slash galstar.net backslash tilde nonguard. Uh, and... Uh, and so trust my judgment on this. You don't have to have me build your, in fact, I, I don't have enough time to build everybody in this room a website. We don't build a lot of websites. We, we work with people who need what we offer and we, we build a good website, but I'm not the answer for everybody. But, but that website gives you the solutions. You can implement yourself or you can instruct. Now you know what to tell somebody on Upwork or on Fiverr you want built for you. And that's an option for you as well. Uh, but evaluate your website. Use that website checklist. If you want help, if you think you might want Joey and I to build a website for you, book a session with me. We'll talk about what your needs are and what we can do for you. And uh, if nothing else, use all those free resources I provided at the bottom of that page. Because those free resources are great tools for you to use yourself or to instruct another web developer to use on your behalf. They are the right tools. This is what I build for my own websites. And you should be building a website like my websites, not because I'm narcissistic, but because I've done it every single way. I've used everything out there. The reason I use AWeber is it's the best. 
That's why I don't use constant contact. That's why I don't use active campaign. That's why I don't use send in blue. Um, I use WP engine because it's the right hosting. I use optimized press because it's the right theme and I am an expert. And so use the resources that I use and you'll find that you create the same level of success or at least have the potential to. And in fact, I hope you exceed my level of success. Um, you guys have been awesome. We're out of time today. I hope this has been helpful to you. Tomorrow, we're going to answer the question, how do we build an all-cash private practice and dump the insurance forms and get clients, even if you're not taking insurance right now, who are actually excited to pay our full fee? Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Take care, everybody. You're awesome. It's been a lot of fun. Ask any questions in the group. I'm always happy to answer them.